Welcome to Calm Before the Storm, ladies and gentlemen. And here in the top left-hand corner, we have our green Terran player hailing from Team Mouse Sports. That is Thorzane. And his opponent, down 0-1 in the set, but choosing this map is our red Protoss player and reigning champion of IPL Fight Club from Team Liquid. He is Hero. Yep. And he has been the uh, the hero for Team Liquid fans these last two weeks, taking out both GSL champion Jokji and uh, the Zerg powerhouse Demaga. Um, and a lot of people have been kind of hard on Demaga since that series, but they really shouldn't be. I mean, he is very good. Everybody has an off day. That was definitely one of his. And it just happens every once in a while. Hero just played better, a lot better, and yes. uh, Demaga had a rough day. That's about it. That's all I got to say on that. <laughs> Well, if Done. you remember way back about 50 minutes ago, okay. at the beginning of the last game. <laughs> the beginning of the last game, yeah. It actually started right. as a three-gate versus a two barracks pressure, and uh, less likely on this map just because of the easy-to-take back expansions, yeah. I understand. But still, you know, Thorsane almost won that game. Oh. Huh. And uh, I was going to say it was some early pressure, but it looks like he's opening with double proxy 11, 11 racks in the middle, a la what he did against uh, Quantic Naniwa back in winner's round one of Team Arena Challenge. That's right. And it looks like Hero is scouting cross positions, though, so he will see it immediately. And Hero going for the gateway and the gas right away, not going for the next oh. first... Oh, never mind. He's not scouting cross positions, is he? No, he actually, <laughs> that's where the pathing took him. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. He could now, have gone this way, but he didn't. Now, I will say, Hero's doing a good job of realizing who he's playing against, that sometimes Thorzane does get a little bit cheesy in TVP, uh -huh. especially on this map. Like you mentioned, the Naniwa game already. Um, so he is going for probably what's going to be a one-gate expand. So he will be not necessarily really well equipped to hold this off, but better equipped than he would be certainly if he were going Nexus first or something like that. And is he not going to see this again? Oh, He's going not. right to Thorzane's base. What that's a great position for those barracks by Thorzane. Really that, yeah, that's brilliant, man. If your opponent doesn't go cross position scout, they're just going to go right past it. And look at that. Sending on SCV at a normal scouting <laughs> time. I can guarantee you Liquid Hero has no idea this is coming. He's not going to know until he gets in there and sees that there are no barracks around. And then he's going to be like, uh-oh. Well, let's see here. He hasn't found anything yet. He's going to check for a quick expansion. Sorry to say, Hero. Yep. It's not around. It's like, Wait a second. There's all right. There's no expansion. There's no barracks. Yeah. And is he going to go ahead and build his nexus? We'll see. Oh, look at that. There's the bunker. There is a stalker on the way. But will the stalker come out in time? That's the question that we have here. A lot of probes coming off the line. Hero needs to respond with this. That's a supply depot going up for Thorzane as well. Yes, Trying to is. protect that SCV as best he can. That's so funny. And we have oh rates. man. Hero at least is going to lose some probes from this. Oh, the Stalker comes out. Will the Marines be able to get to the bunker? I don't think so. I don't think it's going to finish. Yeah, the bunker is, oh, so close to being finished. There's another oh, SCV in the bunker. Finishes. does finish. Will Thorzane be able to get up the ramp, though? The Stalker's just going right after the bunker. The Marines are trying to force their way up, killing a couple of workers wow. right now. Hero pulling more off the line. Oh, he gets the Stalker. The Stalker, stalker goes down. We have another one. Oh, just the other one comes up, out. Oh, God, Thorzane's got to get into the bunker, but he can't. He just can't. No, and uh, he's trying to dash past the Stalker. Uh, he gets, gets in. in. Oh, you know what, though? The Stalker though should be able to handle the bunker with those pros but there's two more marines coming in they're gonna fire from the low ground they take out the oh, stalker oh there's a Thor's coming name. out as well the bunker yep. is still up. gonna fall oh god but he is gonna kill it. man he's killing so many probes with this Oh, he is going to be so God. far ahead either way, man. All right. Well, Thorzane, he's trying to reinforce with a couple more units right now. We do have a Zealot that just popped out. More workers are being pulled off the line. The worker count is currently sitting at 11 to 15 at the moment. Yeah. Thorzane about ready to lose both of those Marines, however. He has walked in with a couple more. Yep, that's right. Firing at that pylon as well. Cancels the supply depot. Probably a good idea there. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, you know, it'd be interesting if he got the pylon, too. I mean... Yeah. All right. Nope. Just going to run away from the Zealot, it looks like. Okay. There's another Stalker popping out here, too. So great timing by Thorzane. What a beautifully executed early pressure from Thorzane. That was, that's kind of one of the things that I was talking about earlier. One of the reasons why I like Thorzane so much in TVP, because he has this huge variety of builds, and he's so good at executing them. And Very a cool. More Marines hidden here behind the uh, bushes. Nice yep. play there. Pop outs. Go ahead and take out the stalkers. And you're absolutely right. Like we were saying, he knows when to put on pressure to throw his opponent off. Yeah. And uh, this is certainly uh -oh. throwing his opponent off as uh, there's not a lot on the field for Hero. He's still down by five supply. That's pretty much all in workers at the moment. Yep. Needs to be careful not to let those Marines get out of that line of sight blocker. Mm -hmm. It's like, come into the jungle. <laughs> 
Take a look at those. There you are. Yep, there oh, they are. We have another Six stalker Marines. coming okay. up. Okay. Yeah, he sees the second stalker coming up, makes a run for it. He's going to lose a couple Marines on his way out, but mm -hmm. not too bad. Does he have a bunker going up at home, though? He does have one already prepared. Yep. Yeah, Thorzane doing just fine here, although uh, he is going to lose most of these Marines instead of a couple of them. Yeah, actually. Stalkers, one man. They're so quick. And is he going to get the one Marine away? He only has one Marine in that bunker. He's going to need to pull some SCVs to defend that. Yes, he is, because these SCVs up at the front are going to die pretty quickly, actually. Yep. Uh, one goes down, second falls as well, and now SCVs are being brought off the line. But, uh, you know, there's a good chance here for Hero to try and make back some of those worker kills that he lost. Yeah. Um, all right, so... Supply Depot, and is it going to get repaired? Thorzane, can oh he save it? God. Oh, wow, that wow, that Supply Depot got low. Yes, it did. There's another Marine in the mix now, and the there stalkers we go. are starting to get pretty low, but it looks like the Supply Depots are going to hold, and Hero is going to yep. have to turn around. And that was close. <laughs> Thorzane just really cutting it closer. Oh, I love what Hero's doing, though. Two Nexuses. He's double expanding. He's taking the risk. He's like, I know with my stalkers out on the map and you having, like, no tech at all, you're not going to be able to move out and really do anything for a while. So I'm going to double expand, take advantage of that. And if Hero goes for something like a big heavy gateway push off of this, he could uh, he could do very well against what Thorzane's got. Well, we already have Stim and an engineering bay coming out now with four Marines at a time. So Thorzane will eventually have enough stuff to throw at his opponents. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you're right. That you contain know, sitting there for a while could set him back with double nexuses. This was a one-gate nexus nexus from a hero as well, so I would not be surprised at all to see him go for that eight-gate push we've seen some Protoss players doing lately in PvZ. Or not PvZ, in PvT. PvT. I, I think it'd be a really good choice in this particular case because he knows that Thorzane is not going to have more than like three barracks worth of marine marauder production. And a lot of times you can just overwhelm people. We see this build work all the time on Daybreak. So yeah. have to see if Hero decides to go for that. Yeah, it's certainly possible. Two more gates are being thrown in right now. So we'll see what order he wants to throw in structures. Yeah, how many gas does he have at the moment? He Still just uh, one gas. Wow. Okay, just yeah. one, yeah. Could see a lot of gateways coming up then. Yeah, he is going to be accumulating minerals very, very quickly here in a bit. Yep. Oh, yes. down at the upper part of the map, looks like Thorzane pushing away heroes, stalkers with some marines. Yeah, he does manage to kill one stalker and almost that zealot, but uh, the rest of the units are bouncing away. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll see another expansion out of him here in a bit as well. Could be setting ourselves up for uh, another 50-minute game in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, Thorzane looking pretty good with those marauders at the moment. He's fairly safe, still just one bunker. And yeah, three more gateways out, so we are up to six for hero. Yeah. And is he going to put more down? He's got two gas now, so still has the capability. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what he decides to do. Yeah, could, could just decide to tech off of this as well. Yeah, I could see Robo or Twilight Council or Forge here in a bit. We'll see what tech yeah. path he goes down, though, in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, he is pushing his way out, though, with a few stalkers into the middle of the map. No probe along with this to put down a forward pylon quite yet. Yep. That is seven gateway and eight. 7 and yep. 8. 8 gates, putting down two more gas just to make sure that he can sustain lots of stalkers, of course. And, yeah, so we are going to see that 8 gate from Hero. I think that's a really good choice. When I saw that double nexus, I was like, I think you're going to do that 8 gate. And that's a, a great response. I mean, if we look at what Thorzane has, he has, does he have four barracks or three? Four. Yes, four. Just okay. Four. So a little bit more, uh, a little bit higher production than we see a lot of Terran players have in this situation. The norm is normally three, you know, three barracks and then your tech, and then you go up to a fourth and fifth later on. And the 8 gate is designed to kind of take advantage of that. But, uh, oh, Hero not going for a strict 8 gate. He's getting this Twilight Council as well. So Yes, he is. Huh, interesting. With gas number 5 and 6 as well. All right. So maybe going to add Blink onto this as well. Maybe just making a lot of gateways to stay safe, too. No forges up, but certainly a possibility. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he is going to be able to produce enough units. It'll be able to deflect a push coming out here. We do have a Ghost yeah. Academy on the way, though. But look at this. Thorsey moving out. He's going to have combat shields. And Kinkasa Shell doesn't take very long to research, so that could be finishing up as well yeah. uh, pretty quickly with this push. Hero's going to have a lot of units, potentially, when Thorzane gets to his base, though. So Thorzane's going to need to be very, very careful about this push. That is quite a few units. A lot of zealots up, and of course he sees a fully functioning third base. So we'll yep. see what well, he that decides to tiny. do. Yeah, it is. <laughs> He's reinforcing pretty well, but yeah, it's pretty small right now. Yep. 
still does have Stim. Still a lot of DPS in that army. Thorzane scans. Looks like he's going to go in for it. Yeah, all right. All right. Split his army to set himself up a better mm. concave there, but then turns around. Hero, he's got a number of zealots, number of stalkers, actually preparing for a drop as yeah. well. Which is what you totally should do in this situation. A lot of Terrans will send a drop to the natural when they push the main like that or push the front, so... And well, third yep. orbital command is down now. Thorzane is researching Mobius reactor, but has not gone over to a uh, ghost production yet. Of course, wants them to pop out with an EMP ready to rock. Hero, on the other hand, does have Templar archives on the way as well. So pretty similar unit composition building up to what we saw last game. Yeah, he's going for it, too. He's going to try to push Thorzane's army out of the middle of the map here, it looks like. Love to see how well that does. If he can do something like deny Thorzane's third, that's going to put him way ahead, too. And looks like he is moving away. Blink up there just to uh, a couple desperation shots at the uh, Marines as they run away. Yep. Let's see here, though. The first three ghosts are coming up, and once he has EMPs prepared, that'll make this engagement a lot more favorable for Hero. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry, for Thorzane, but... You know, Hero's reproducing pretty well at the moment. There is finally a forward piling up to reinforce. Yeah, so will Hero go through with this push? Now, Thorzane, as you can see, does not have any bunkers. Just building one right now. That probe is going to see that. And, oh, he even saves the probe nice. Oh, no, look out, probe. Ah. Aww. All what right. did he ever do to you besides scout and find out exactly what you had? And Hero needs to be a little bit careful here. Yeah, backing Blinking up at away. the moment. Archons, but, of course, no Templar for Storms yet. A storm is still about halfway done. Yep. Now, uh, I believe Thorzane does have a couple of EMPs in that army, too. Yes, does he, he does. Have any ghosts? He does have a couple of ghosts yeah, there. Let's see. Yeah. I know he has at least three. Looks like it's just three at the moment with two more on the way. Yeah, I think Hero's going to pull back here. Thorzane doing a good job of throwing those barracks down there as well just to kind of reduce the surface area that his opponent can attack through. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, Hero's just going to decide to take a fourth. This Marine is uh, unfortunately not going to be able to scout, not going to be able to pick up on the time of that, uh, on this new base that's coming up at the moment. Yep. However, Thorzane is producing his fourth. Not sure where that's at. There it is. Yeah. And now, a fifth as well. And uh, he's also a little bit ahead in upgrades. He's on his way to 2-2. Two -two. So is Hero, but Heroes are a little bit behind. But look at that, Thorzane already getting Viking weapons again. This is something we saw him do last game. Just going very early on the Viking upgrades to make sure that he's really prepared when the Colossi come out. And uh, those two Robos from here are going to pr be producing conceivably a lot of Colossi. That's true, but you know what? Uh, Thorstein is at a pretty big supply disadvantage right yes, now. he is. He is uh, and until that finishes up in about 20 seconds or so, he is going to be at uh, equal upgrade. Oh, so if the no. engagement would have come there, it would have been bad. Oh, but oh, no. Hero getting Templar picked off. Two go down right away, and he retreats with most of his forces, even causing a couple of force fields to be brought out. Yep. Bases canceled on the left-hand side, though. Yep. All right, just look at that huge army, though, for Hero. He's got those units right there that are getting killed by Thorzane, but it's also got more yeah. up at the top here coming around. Oops, those elves were a little bit out of position. That yeah, did they not were. work terribly well. And that's, uh, you know, Thorzane doing a pretty good job now of equalizing. Ghosts in the bunker, of course. Standard fare. Very good against light units there, and uh, this little task force of zealots is going to go down eventually, really with not a lot of gain either. You know, so. I've noticed that Hero doesn't really like to control his zealots terribly well once he sends them in like that. He just kind of sends them in and lets them die, and I think yeah. that's a, an area that a Hero could improve on here because, you know, we saw this game already and last game too where he just spent a lot of money on zealots that just didn't do a whole lot. Well, Hero is uh, on a fourth base now, just mannered it over his uh, probe, so we can actually start mining from that. Let's see here, as we have destructible rocks going down, so it looks like Thorzane is going to decide to take that base. Does have a command center finished with two more on the way. So we'll have six command centers here in a bit. We'll be able to reproduce his, uh, or we'll be able to sack SEVs for uh, mules in a bit. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Plus three weapons as well on the way for Hero. And he's not double producing Colossi just yet. I think he's going to focus on upgrades initially for the current point in time. He did get Thermal Lance as well. Yeah. And he is basically maxed, actually. Yeah. So won't be able to produce much of anything for a while. Oh, here he like goes. Ooh, I don't know if this is a good decision by Hero. He needs to be careful with this. Could get a large portion of his army trapped. And a bunch of stalkers there, but there they blink away. We did nice have one storms. storm hit. Oh, wow, that was a huge stim out of Thorzane as well. So yeah, it's going to tax those medevacs. Yeah, he's going to use up a ton of energy on those. And those medevacs are, oh, storming his own war prism and his oh. own Templar. But it worked out. He killed a ton of SCVs there. Yes, he did. The one Templar's like, please pick me up. It, it hurts. <laughs> I stormed myself. 
that was actually pretty remarkable, though. I mean, that did a ton of damage. And, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, the Vikings are eventually going to take oh. these out, though. Goodbye, Warp Prism. Yep. Hey, they're in Archon now. Isn't that nice? Yes, they are. They're going to land, but they're going to need to do some damage in a hurry as that Archon's almost morphed in. This is actually pretty entertaining to watch. And goes down. Pop. Goes the Weasel. Pop goes the Archon. That is true. Silly Archons. Yep, they do kind of do that. Once again, uh, though, you're right. I mean, because this army is so decentralized. That's not that big of a force. Um, he is Max right now, but he's got his uh, Colossi sitting back at home. He's got Templar everywhere as he continues to take bases. Warp Prism speed is coming up, so we'll continue to harass. It looks like he uh, will get this Planetary Fortress because this is Thor's a, Zane. This is a bit premature. He's going to have to have awesome storms here. Yeah. Because uh, his army is definitely not big enough to take out Thor Zane's EMP hitting some of those sentries. But, wow, he actually gets it and gets away. That was a risky move there by Hero. He got really lucky. Well, we'll see if Thor Zane wants to pursue. If uh, the last games were indication, no, he does not. Yeah. And uh, all right, crossing the 22 minute mark now in game number two. So oh, yeah, yeah, long night of StarCraft available uh, for all of us now. Mm -hmm. We do have personal cloaking coming up. Uh, building armor is on the way. This is close to mirroring what we saw in the last game. Uh, Colossi a little bit faster for Hero this time around. It's still the same general idea. You know, I really like that Thorzane is adding on sensor towers too. I feel that's a really underused building in TVP. Yes, and being nothing really right there. You know, especially with the way that Hero was showing that Warp Person play in the last game as well. Yeah. Yep, definitely good to know about stuff. And more Zelts coming in. Look, like three of them are chasing SCVs. He could have killed an add-on with that. Yeah. But instead, they're just going to mindlessly die to some Marauders. So he did kill the add-ons, but still, I don't know. I, I I really feel like Hero could control the Zealots better in that situation. Yeah. Oh, no, he's even going to get a barracks, too. That's kind of nice. Of course, he could have lifted a building there, maybe, but... Maybe. Unfortunately, did not. Both players are almost maxed. It's 53 workers for Thorzine, though, to 86 for Hero, which means that um, Thorzine has about an additional 33 supply in army available to him. Yeah, well, I mean, Thorzane has been kind of playing from behind this entire game. I mean, he did some early damage with that push, but he just got his third up so late. And I love this Colossus dropping with the War Prism. What is this, the beta? <laughs> this is awesome. This is what I used to do on Desert Oasis, man. I would drop Colossi <laughs> on that cliff. Oh, yeah. You and great. Desert Oasis. They kill SCVs so fast, man. Yeah, they do, actually. Look at that. And uh, continuing to do damage. This is, we're getting close to a repeat of last game. I mean, now Hero's expanding everywhere. He's going to gain an economic advantage. We'll see if he overextends himself with uh, with uh, his play again uh, this time, or if he makes a big concerted push. Oh, well, that Colossi did die, but the big difference this time is that Hero's not really taking any pressure at all. And there Whoa! it is, GG. Not surprising at all, honestly. I mean, yeah, look at the supply. Thorzane's 181 to 193. Still had a big army and everything like that. But, you know, he knows, look at how many bases that Hero has around the map, all right? He's on, like, six bases. They're all mining. Hero's got an insane economy going. Thorzane can barely mine out of his third and fourth. So I think Thorzane's saying, all right, it's the best of nine. I can give this game to Hero. I'm way behind. Slim chance I'm going to win this one. So seems like an early GG, but I can totally understand why Thorzane did that. So Yeah, I'm not saying that, uh, that Thorzane was ahead by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, no, I just want to explain it to the people out there that might be like, why GG? He was only 10 supply down. It's like, Yeah, but you know, yeah. I mean, if you look at it, he had he seriously had an additional 35 supply and army over his opponent. Again, I'm not saying he's ahead. He was clearly behind, clearly behind. But this is a similar situation to how he found himself last game. And because Hero mm -hmm. never committed to a big engagement, I mean, I, I, I think Thorzane could have actually played that out. I, I don't, don't know. know. 